Hi, folks. We are back to talk to you about more great ways to automate using Okta and our life cycle automations functionality. Let's open up by talking about managing a user's life cycle. Now, a user's life cycle starts with a new employee, onboarding, right? The life cycle also contains everything that happens throughout an employee's career at that organization. This could include simple changes like attribute updates, title changes, maybe they move closer to headquarters and their physical address changes, or they get married and their name changes. Sometimes you have more complex things like they get a promotion. Not only does their title change, which would be simple, right? <laughs> they also likely assume new responsibilities and get more access to more systems. And then finally, the day of offboarding where all access needs to be promptly removed. There are a lot of moving parts when thinking about and managing a user's life cycle. And there are a lot of pain points for IT to manage those life cycles of all of those users. Now, you know, here at Okta, we aim to solve your technology concerns or issues and also automate to assist you in many ways. Here is one way Okta aims to assist and automate in your lifecycle management struggles, Okta lifecycle automations. Now, initially, we look to solve the following use cases. A couple of different scenarios where you maybe have to manage a contractor lifecycle, right? Contractor, seasonal, or temporary employees. Cleanup scenario, where maybe you have folks that left years ago that are still sitting out there in your system to help remove those stale users. We can possibly deactivate and reactivate based off of custom attributes, so being a lot more flexible around user mastering. And notifications are important, right? Email of events or future events occur, maybe like password expiration. Now, the automations workflow looks a little something like this. Step one, you set the policy. Step two, Okta will then check the lifecycle state of the user. And then of course, step three, the action is performed. Now here are a few examples of the current use case driven automations. This first one here is a suspension for contractors. Maybe you need to bulk suspend users, maybe on a specific date and time. And based off of a group membership, you could do a bulk suspension. Next is what if folks' passwords are about to expire? Well, you can set up a fully customized email notification system right here within Okta to notify those users that their password is about to expire. And then what happens if you have accounts that have been inactive for so long, right? Maybe someone left the organization and things happen the account never got suspended or deactivated. Well, if the user has been inactive for a set number of days, this will automatically suspend those accounts. And then finally, what if you use Okta self-registration and someone goes to register for an account and they just let it sit out there? They never respond to the registration link. Well, if the user is in a pending state for a set number of days, you can automatically suspend, which would then force those folks to go ahead and re-register. Now, in closing, we, of course, are going to continue to build out our lifecycle automations. More use case coverage and other automations will become available. Okta is taking lifecycle management to the next level with automations to help you stay in compliance and also ease that burden on your IT team. I hope you enjoyed listening. Now go implement those automations to streamline the management of life cycles at your organization. Thanks for listening.